Uh, I have found that over the years, because we're getting so many different cultures in the room, uh, Hispanic, Vietnamese, Cambodian, Lao, Eritrean, that I have to be so visual with everything. So that uh, if I'm working with Pythagorean relation and teaching the students Pythagorean relation, I have to very clearly draw uh, a right triangle and put the numbers and even draw the lake in. So I've gotten so, so much more visual with the different problems because uh, language communication and everything, so these students really, really have to, have to see a description. So on this one, we're going to use Pythagorean relation to find the distance across the lake. Now with this one, you can't uh, get in a rowboat and go across the lake and string a string across the lake for how many kilometers. Uh, it's, or are you going to get in the water and swim across the lake and pull the, the, and you're not going to be able to walk across the water in order to get the distance across the lake. So we're using Pythagorean relation here. And remember, Pythagorean relation is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And um, uh, in this one, our uh, a is x. I'll let that be x. So we have x squared plus 2.4 squared equals 3.0 squared. And uh, 2.4 squared is uh, 2.4 times 2.4 is 5.76 and 3 squared is 9. I'll write it though as 9.00 and then how do I go back to get the distance? I'll subtract 5.76 from both sides of the equation and I get um, 3.24 and then we'll get the square root of that And uh, the square root of 3.1, uh, 3.24 is 1.8. So we have uh, 1.8 kilometers to go across the lake. So you see, they could use walking on land or surveying, they could get this distance, uh, 2.4, and they could get this distance on land, 3 kilometers. But um, Remember, you can't string a string and use a rowboat going across the lake. So Pythagorean theorem was really, uh, uh, really valuable to come up with. Pythagoras was a Greek mathematician, and the uh, Greeks had traveled all over, well, of course, Greece, and then into Egypt. And Egypt had the situation of the Nile flooding all the time and the farmer's uh, boundaries between one farmer's land and another farmer's land would be totally wiped out in the flood. I mean, the Nile River was really wonderful that the Nile River brought all kinds of uh, uh, good soil and fertilizer to the farmer's property, but every year the mathematicians and, uh, uh, and people would, would have to go out right away and start surveying this man's land and that man's land different people's land because you don't want to put crops on that land and then you find out uh, at harvest time someone comes over and says that's their land, that's their crops and not, not um, your crops. I mean there are, people have fights over how many other things uh, you, you wouldn't end up uh, wanting some kind of fight over whose land it was. Uh, so with the Pythagorean relation also it became important for them to begin getting square roots and one of Pythagoras' followers came up with the square root of 2. He said that it was about 1.414. And um, let's see, the square root of 3, about 1.732. And this curly line means about. Uh, so uh, now we have some square roots, like the square root of 4 is exactly 2, and the square root of 25 is exactly 5. But we have to get into studying irrational numbers because irrational numbers are like the square root of 13. We don't know what it is. We only know about what it is, that it's uh, not an exact. Uh, we can't get a, the exact square root of 13.